Hey, what's going on everybody? Star Wars 1744 here, and today I want to talk to you about something that has been on my mind for the last couple of days. It's the concept of making YouTube videos with commentary and the difference between doing a voiceover where the video is pre-recorded versus doing a live gameplay where the commentary is reaction based based on what is happening while the game is being played at the same time. So what I mean by voiceover commentary is very straightforward. You get your clip together, whether that is a gameplay for a game you enjoy, an event that you went to and want to take photos or video of that event, whatever it may be. The clips are sort of independent from your commentary. There is no commentary within the actual video itself that directly connects to what is happening in that very instant and your current state of mind. To give you an example of this would be a video game walkthrough. Let's say Halo 4. The commentary that you put over your clips may connect with what is happening on screen with your recording, but the mindset is not there at the moment. You as the creator are simply explaining what you're doing and why you're doing it, or you're just telling people, okay, this is where you need to go, once you get up here, grab the sniper rifle and take out this grunt that is right in front of you. They'll fall back in an organized retreat and that's when you move up. But when you move up, look to your right and take out the jackal marksman over here. He's a little tricky to see because of the bushes, but it's not impossible to shoot him. Now, there are some benefits to this type of commentary. For one, you can create a script and say it as many times as you want until you get it right. Similar, similar to what I'm doing right here with this video. You don't have to worry about trying to multitask by playing the game and communicating towards the camera or your audience if you happen to be doing a live stream at the same time. So it's a very controlled setting where you know what you're going to be discussing in your video and when. Obviously the slight downside to that is um, there's no really, um, I don't know, emotion or whatever that gets transmitted into the video. There's no sort of thought process that you can sort of uh, give your viewers but that's more connected to the live commentary uh, type of video creation. So the opposite side to um, this argument is obviously uh, live commentary with video creation. This is where you have your camera and your gameplay being recorded, at being recorded at the same time. Your video is being played and your commentary or face cam or whatever you're using, whatever you're doing, is being recorded to match what's happening at that very moment. A simple example of this would be doing a Let's Play for a game that just came out. For example, the uh, Life is Strange just bef before the storm uh, walkthrough that I'm doing on my channel. The benefits to this type of commentary is that uh, you get your experience captured in that moment from when your experience is actually uh, activated. Your emotions come through and you get a real first time view of whatever it is you are capturing. The disadvantage to this is that you don't get to prepare in advance what you're going to say and when you're going to say it. An event occurs and you just act accordingly, which sometimes can lead to uh, not so... not such uh, professional work, I guess would be a word. Or, yeah. Yeah, nothing that really seems like well prepared or well thought out kind of thing, which can actually be a good thing. Uh, there's no script, there's no second, third, or fourth, or however many times you need to voice something over to get it right. There's just you, the event, and your thoughts and words at that very moment that uh, is being shown. To me, this creates uh, better content because you get a sort of a better connection to the person in the video and you can almost put yourself in their shoes based on what you see in the video that they produce because you can see their emotions and you can personally sort of uh, connect to how you would feel if you were in that same situation so yeah that's uh, gonna do it for this video uh, thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the different types of commentary where you guys think the other is appropriate over the other and where uh, one has an edge over the other I would really like to hear from you on uh, your thoughts about this um, if you enjoyed this video please be sure to hit that like button and, and subscribe for more content I've got a new AMV idea that I will try and start working on soon. It just depends on how busy my school studying time gets within the next few weeks. Um, so be sure to stay tuned uh, for that if you're interested. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video again, and, uh, of course, and I'll see you all next time. And of course, may the force be with you.